Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3 Now. My name is Jack, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Melting Light Green PLA Filament. So hopping right into the video, Melting sent me over one of their light green spools of PLA for review. I have to say, I am not disappointed. Melting is a USA-based company down in Florida, and they make all their filaments in the USA and they focus on the highest quality plastics as you can see from their website and from my testing of their PLA filament. So the light green PLA spool and all their other spools come in a one kilogram size and they have 1.75 or three millimeter size diameter filament and the light green PLA comes in at a price of $30 right now, but the price gets cheaper if you buy a higher quantity. So Melting recommends to print this filament between 195 and 225C on the extruder and either 0 or 60 degrees Celsius on the bed. And also another plus of this Melting filament is that they have tons of color options on their website and I mean a ton. So taking the spool out of the box, the thing that hits me right away is the bold green color and I absolutely love this light green color as a matte finish before and after printing too. While printing, I didn't get any jams at all, no fails, and also this company has a great customer support through either social media, email, or contact form on their website, which is a definite plus with buying filaments if you're a beginner or you have some questions to ask. Spooling is also great. I didn't have any tie-ups while printing. Everything turned out nice and smooth. And also the spool comes with a silica packet during shipping to make sure that the filament stays dry. You can also use that in a big Ziploc plastic bag to keep your filament dry as well after each use. So I printed a few test objects. I printed at 195C on the extruder and 60C on the bed and the results turned out great. The parts were strong, they had a nice light green matte finish and the color was super bold which I absolutely love. So, with this PLA, I needed a glue stick to put on the bed to make sure that the prints stuck correctly. But besides that, everything came out super smooth and really nice. So, my test prints were a Yoda bust, and this is my first print, and I didn't use any glue. So, the support for the sides of the ears fell off on the Yoda bust, but it still came out fantastic. Next was, of course, a 3D Benchy to bench test this filament, and it came out with this super nice matte green finish which I absolutely love and also I printed my 3D Now Maker coin from Thingiverse and this turned out amazing and finally I printed the squirrel to test out the fine details so I really love this filament for 30 bucks you can't go wrong this is a great US space company and if you want more information you can click the links down below in the description or go to meltink3d.com and contact them. I want to give a big thanks to Meltink for sending me one of their spools for review and I hope you guys like this video. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more videos like this, comment down below if you have any questions, I'll make sure to answer every single one of them and I'll see you guys in the next video.